Welcome to Math Bites. Why should we do math in our heads? We have apps on our phones and calculators. Well, just because we have cars doesn't mean we shouldn't learn how to walk. The muscles on our legs would atrophy. I know how to walk and drive. I wish I could fly. I'm glad that other lady can't fly. Apps and calculators are great, but getting good at doing math is important too. Not only do actual math skills come in handy in life, like with anything involving money, doing math is like going to the gym for your brain. Doing math increases our brain power and makes us smarter. What if you lose your phone and someone's like, do some math? It happens all the time. I have totally stolen that lady's phones. It's happened like a million times. No, wait, let me just do the math in my head. Four times. And then I watch her try to do math in her head. Hashtag hilarious. Hello, I'm a famous celebrity. Do you know how I got to be this way? By learning how to do math in my head. Math is charismatic. Trust me, I'm famous. <laughs> also, not paying attention to math can be a problem. It's 29.88. It's 2.49 a pound, right? Yeah, six pounds. Okay, that sounds about right. Shoot, I only have a 20. I guess I could give one pineapple back. Uh, yeah, I don't have a button for that. So. I should maybe get a manager. Yeah, I guess. I mean, memorizing actual math formulas can be tough, so don't be hard on yourself. This stuff isn't child's play. I thought we cut that bit. have brains for a reason and we need to give them regular workouts to keep them in shape. Just like for a healthy body, we drink water, eat healthy food and exercise. Huh? What are you doing? Push-ups for my brain. I feel my brain getting stronger. No, 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 that's not what Danica meant, no. This feels great! Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feel the burn! Do math in your head, people. I do math in my head all the time. Go ahead, throw out some numbers. 99 times 59. 5,841. 975 divided by 8. 121.875. 358 divided by 7. 51.14285714285. Wow, that was amazing. How do you do that? <laughs> that was the human calculator. That's not what I was talking about at all. I don't know how he does that. That's unnatural. Cool, but not a realistic goal. Here are a few easy ways to increase your math and head skills. Cover your ears. Huh? Where's my phone? Say you want to multiply something big and messy by five. Do an easier version first. Just multiply by 10, which we all know how to do. You just add a zero, then cut your answer in half, which also isn't so bad. And voila, you get the same answer. Why does this nifty little trick work? Because five is just 10 divided by two. So multiplying by 10 and then dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by five. 10 is so great, I just love 10. <laughs> Who doesn't love 10? Let's do another one. Let's say pineapples cost 2.49 a pound and you're buying six pounds of it and you wanna know how much it's gonna be. Instead of trying to multiply 249 times six, let's do an easier problem first. We'll add an extra penny and pretend they cost 250 a pound. And nobody likes decimals, so let's go ahead and use our nifty 10 trick. Multiply this by 10, and now we've got 25. Well, 25 times six isn't that hard. Four 25s make 100 after all, and two more 25s make 50, so that's 150. And we better move that decimal point back over again before we forget, so 15. Yep, 250 times six is 15 bucks. And that's a great approximate answer way easier than dealing with 249. But now that we've done the easier version, it's really not that hard to get the exact answer too. Because we multiplied six times 250 instead of 249, we ended up with six extra pennies, right? So what's $15 minus six pennies? 1494, ta-da! Yeah, a lot less than 2988. 
I realize I'm showing you how to do math in your head on paper. The irony has not been lost on me. But a blank screen just wouldn't have been as interesting. I mean, right? Totally. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Takeaway tips! The takeaway tips are just little tidbits of mathy goodness to make you look smarter at cocktail parties. Oh yeah, we're so smart. <laughs> Tip one, if you want to have a sharp, healthy brain, you gotta give it exercise. Tip two, do math in your head by trying an easier version first and then adjusting it from there. I mean, who wants to pay too much for pineapples? Yay! Thanks for watching the Math Heads episode of Math Bites. But what you've always really wanted to do is watch me dress up like a fairy in the woods singing about the number pi, right? I mean, right? Click here for the pie episode, featuring the likes of Felicia Day and Simon Pegg and the nerdist himself, Chris Hardwick. Subscribe to Nerdist. Oh, and if you want to learn actual math, click here to check out my books like Math Doesn't Suck and Kiss My Math. Those are real titles.